dentine happens to be the second layer of the tooth. First layer is enamel and the second layer is dentine. It provides bulk to the tooth and it has tubules throughout its surface. So when we see the ultra structure of dentine, tubules are going to be present throughout the surface of dentine. It begins to form slightly before enamel that is dentine forms first and enamel forms second. So that is why dentine determines the shape of the tooth more importantly that is the cusp and the ridges. It also decides the number of roots the tooth is going to have and the size of roots. It is a living tissue. Why it is living? Because it contains the process of odontoblast inside the tubules. This is the tubule. So the odontoblast lies outside the tubule but the process it extends goes inside the tubule and this process contains the living cytoplasm. Hence this is a living tissue and it chemically and physically resembles the bone. But there is a difference. In bone we see that the osteoblast lie on the surface of bone. Some osteoblasts get trapped inside the surface of the bone and these are called the osteocytes. These are the osteoblasts on the surface of the bone. Physical properties of dentine in which the color of dentine is yellowish and with age it becomes darker. The thickness is 3 to 10 mm. This is an important point and you must remember this. It is harder than bone but softer than enamel. It can undergo slight deformation unlike enamel which is brittle. These two properties are called elasticity and resilience. And this when the masticatory forces are applied on the tooth if it was made completely of enamel which is hard and brittle then it would then it would easily chip off. But because of the presence of dentine underlying the enamel it, it can undergo slight deformation or we can say that it is elastic and resilient in nature which can withstand the forces and undergo slight flexure. It is more radiolucent as compared to enamel since the mineral content of dentine is less than enamel. Then we have permeability. So dentine is permeable due to the tubules present throughout the surface. If these tubules get blocked due to some reason then the permeability will reduce. Chemical properties we have three components that is organic matter, inorganic and water. 20% is organic, 70% is inorganic and 10% is water. Our collagen type 1 and type 5. Non-collagenous proteins are DPP which is dentine phosphoprotein. Then we have DSP which is dentine xyloprotein. GLA proteins. Then we have osteopontin and osteocalcin. We also have ground substance or the matrix. Ground substance is something that holds all the other substance. For example, the basic cement that is present in any area which holds the other particles present in that area. So the cement is the ground substance and the particles are going to be the inorganic material. For ground substance, we have mucopolysaccharide which contains the proteoglycans and glycosaminoglycans. Inorganic content is the calcium hydroxyapatite crystals. 